While millions of Americans contract COVID-19 and seem to recover fairly well, that's not the case for so-called long haulers. They may struggle for months with debilitating symptoms. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez tells us we now know the root cause. Joanna Zeiger is an Olympic triathlete and Ironman champion. And I don't have your ball. But these days, Joanna has trouble just taking her dog for a walk. She also struggles with brain fog and memory issues, symptoms that never went away after contracting COVID-19 five months ago. It's been a very difficult transition, both you know, work-wise and exercise-wise, and for my mental health, just not, not having all of that. Joanna turned to National Jewish Health and its Center for Post-COVID Care and Recovery to find the common link between those who experience long-term effects of the virus. We see young and old, we see folks who had um, mild acute COVID or severe acute COVID, and um, there was no clear predisposing comorbidity. Heart and lung tests are usually normal in these patients, so researchers look deeper to the cellular level using a unique exercise test that produces hundreds of data points at once. Looking at what it is that's causing that person to stop exercising. You were breathing what we would essentially like too much, like more than your body needs, which is a pattern that we've seen in certain people with COVID. In a study in the American Journal of Respiratory Care and Critical Care Medicine, researchers determined that in certain people, the virus actually hinders cells from generating energy. It seems to cause a dysfunction in the tiny powerhouses within the cells, called mitochondria, primarily in muscles, but possibly linked to post-COVID symptoms in the lungs and nervous system as well. This discovery actually showing the molecular mechanisms that are broken in the mitochondria shows researchers where and what kinds of drugs are needed to develop treatments for the millions who are suffering with post-COVID or long-haul syndrome. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News.